Hey good people and welcome to the guide. This is the first video in the prerequisite section of Lexi's Legacy of the Dragonborn guide. In this video we're going to focus on installing Skyrim, configuring Skyrim, installing the creation kit, and configuring the creation kit uh, for the purposes of this guide. Before we get started we need to have a quick but, quick but essential chat. Your game may appear broken and loot will not sort correctly until you complete the entire guide. If you add or remove other mods before completing the guide, if you do not carefully read and follow every word of the guide, do not deviate, trust the guide. If you are not willing to teach yourself how to use all the modding tools used in this guide. These last two points, that's where my job comes in. I will be there to help you step by step to make sure you have a guiding hand all along the way. So first things first, what do you do? Well, you install Skyrim. Um, but let's say you already have Skyrim installed because you've been tinkering with uh, Skyrim, you've been modding, you've been playing, and uh, we want to start fresh. So, what we're going to do is completely uninstall Skyrim. So in Steam here, right click, go to manage, uninstall. Oh yeah. From ground zero, baby. Once we've done that, close that out. We're going to go into the commons, uh, the Steam, Steam apps commons folder. Locate Skyrim Special Edition, delete that. And then on your Windows PC, we're gonna go into Documents, My Games, and we're gonna delete Skyrim Special Edition from here. All right. Then once you've done that, what are we gonna do? Well, <laughs> we're gonna reinstall Skyrim Special Edition, of course. So, locate Skyrim Special Edition wherever you, have, wherever, you have, wherever you have it in your library. Click on it and click install. Next. All right, excellent. Once, that in, once that's installed, let's move on to the next step. It's the Steam Overlay. The Steam Overlay is known to cause issues while playing Skyrim Special Edition and you are advised to disable it. To do this, perform the following. Let's scooch this over here, make some room, open up these. Scooch these over here. All right. So load up Steam in the toolbar at the top of the window. Click Steam. That's here. Go into settings. All right. Then in the pop-up box, select in-game right here. And then uncheck enable the Steam overlay while in-game. That's right here at this very first setting. Click. And alternatively, if you just want to disable overlays just for Skyrim Special Edition, what you would do is you go into Library, find Skyrim Special Edition. We're going to right-click on it, go to Properties. Then in the pop-up box, uncheck Enable Steam Overlay while in-game. That's right here. All right, next up. Update Proofing Skyrim. Bethesda regularly updates some of these base uh, Skyrim files in support of the Creation Club. What this means is that SKSC and a bunch of mods that use it will no longer function. In order to prevent Steam from updating these files, it is required that you make the following selection. Okay, so we're gonna go back into Steam here. Right click on Skyrim Special Edition, go back into Properties. Click on Updates tab. And here, we're gonna select, uh, always keep this game updated. We're gonna select uh, only up this game when I launch it. That's it. All right, despite the wording, no update to the game will occur unless you launch the game via Steam. Since we will be launching Skyrim via Mod Organizer 2 and SKSE Launcher, no trigger event will occur and your Skyrim install will remain in the same state as it currently is until you force it up to yourself. All right, now let's configure Skyrim. Okay, so let's go ahead and launch Skyrim. Play. From here, click OK. Click on Options. And then here we're going to click on Ultra. Good. All right, now we need to set the aspect ratio and the resolution. My aspect ratio is locked at 16 by 9. My resolution is 2550 or 2560 by 1440. Anti aliasing is off. We're going to do that through ENB. And ensure that windowed mode is unchecked. It is unchecked. Then click OK. Then exit out. All right, now we're going to install the creation kit. So let's go ahead and close out of Steam. And uh, what we need to do is we need to launch. Well, first, you need to make sure you have the Bethesda.net launcher installed. If you do not, click on this link here. And it'll take you to the page you need to go to to do that. 
All right, once you have it installed, go ahead and launch Bethesda Launcher. You're gonna need to log in. Uh, if you don't have an account, you're gonna have to create an account. You can do so for free. But anyways, go ahead and launch Bethesda.net Launcher. And from this window, we need to find the creation kit. Click on right here. These little two, these little two arrows. Click on all games, and you'll see Creation Kit Skyrim right here. All to install. Click on it, then click install. All right, it should automatically see your Skyrim Special Edition location and everything. So just click install here. All right, install is complete, ready to play. So once that's done, go ahead and hit play. And do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes, you do. Script sort zip is new, is new or has been updated. Unpack it? Yes, we want to unpack it. Be pretty beefy. Some of you may be wondering why we're installing the creation kit. Because, you know, after all, this is what you use to create mods. Um, but for us, even though we won't be building new mods in this guide, we will be importing mods originally designed for Skyrim Legend uh, Legendary Edition. And the creation kit will allow you to resave and thus update them to work with Skyrim Special Edition. When it's done unpacking, the creation kit will fully load up like this. When that happens, go ahead and just close it. Now, there's a few more things we need to do uh, to get the creation kit up and running properly. Let's go ahead and close out the, out the Bethesda.net app here. So, SSE Creation Kit fixes various patches and bug fixes for the Creation Kit to make life easier. So let's go ahead and download that. Go to Files. And we want uh, CK64 Fixes Release 3.2 Manual Download. Go ahead and save it. All right, after it's saved, let's go, uh, go ahead and open our download folder. All right, let's go and open CK64 Fixes. Good. I'm going to close this page out and we're going to drag this into we're going to manually extract the mod and place in the main skyrim special edition directory so go ahead and open up skyrim all the folder anyway in your steam apps common in fact i recommend that you go into your uh steam steam apps common folder and uh create a shortcut like i did here right click on it send to Desktop, create shortcut. And you'll have an easy access to that, like I do. Okay. So, it wants us to uh, place in the main Skyrim Special Edition directory. So, position is a little bit better. All right, so let's drag all of this into Skyrim Special Edition. All right, and that is done. Okay, then moving on to the next step. We're going to download a pre-made creation uh, kit custom.ini, uh, a few edits that need to be made before you can use the CK to port mods. So click on the link right here. It's going to automatically download. It's going to open up our download folder. There it is right there, creation kit, uh, custom.ini, and we're going to drag it into Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim Special Edition. So let's go ahead and go to that folder. All right, so we're just going to drag this into Skyrim Special Edition folder right here. Oh, let me position this a little bit better. Drag it on over. All right, that's done. I'm going to leave this open for now. Next step, uh, creation kit fixes, various patches and bug fixes for the creation kit to make life easier. So let's go and download this. Go to files. Here's right here, CK64 fixes, release 3.2, manual download. Save file. Once that's downloading, let's go and open up that download folder. There it is right there. Let's open up that zip file. And we're gonna drag all of this here into Skyrim Special Edition. The final thing we're gonna do in this video is tweak the page file settings in Windows. Uh, virtual memory paging not only handles RAM to disk paging, but also dedicated VRAM to shared video pa uh, memory paging. And if paging is disabled on the Skyrim MO2 or Mod Organizer 2 drive and you run out of the dedicated video memory, you will have random crash to desktops on region uh, on region cell transitions. So we're gonna do this to uh, make sure that doesn't happen. So let's follow these directions. Let's, we're gonna press the Windows key plus R on your keyboard. And here we're gonna type in 
sysdim.cpl, uh, comma three. I already have it here, so click OK. Then from here, under performance, and click on settings. We're going to go to the advanced tab right here. And on virtual memory section, press change right here. Disable automatically managed paging file size for all drives. It's right here. If you have more than one drive, try enabling it for at least, uh, try enabling at least uh, one more drive as a backup. All right, well, I'm gonna set my media drive as my backup. So I'm clicking on media, click on system manage size and clicking set. Okay. Um, otherwise, set a custom size for the drive it's currently on, increase the maximum size to be at least 20 gigabytes. Um, well, Windows automatically set mine to just about, just under 50 gigabytes. So I'm gonna leave that as is, then click OK. So if you only have that one drive uh, for you guys, click on custom sizes. If it's not at least allocating uh, 20 gigabytes down here, you would click on custom size, uh, set the minimum and maximum here and click set. But mine is pretty good. So I'm leaving it at system manage size and click OK. The changes you have made required to restart your computer before they could take effect. All right, Windows. All right. I'm going to restart later after I've concluded this video. All right, guys. And that concludes this video. Uh, thank you for joining me, and I will see you in the next video where we will start getting into the tools, the tools of the trade. All right, I'll catch you in the next one.